হ্যালো আমি হাল্লা চৌধুরী আপনাদেরকে অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি বাংলাদেশ আইটি ইনস্টিটিউটের পক্ষ থেকে স্পেশালি এক্সেলেন্স ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ লার্নিং হাবের পক্ষ থেকে আমরা বেসিক্যালি ইংলিশ রিলেটেড যে কোর্সগুলো আছে সেগুলো করছি তো সেক্ষেত্রে বেসিক গ্রামার স্পোকেন ইংলিশ ফর কিডস স্পোকেন ইংলিশ ফর অল আমরা কন্টিনিউ করছি আপনারা চাইলে অনলাইন এবং অফলাইন দুটোর জন্য আলোচনা করতে পারছি সেই সাথে আমি আরেকটি তথ্য আপনাদের জানাতে চাই তা হচ্ছে ইংলিশ ভার্সন যে ম্যাথ আছে সেই ম্যাথ নিয়েও আমরা কাজ করছি এবং সেগুলো আমরা অনলাইনে ক্লাস নিচ্ছি সো যদি কেউ ইন্টারেস্টেড হন বেসিক ম্যাথ শেখবার জন্য সেক্ষেত্রে আপনারা চাইলে আমাদের সাথে যোগ দিতে পারেন আসসালাম আলাইকুম আই হোপ ইউ অল আর ফাইন সেভেন সাউন্ড ওয়াল সো টুডে উইল লার্ন দ্য চেঞ্জিং অফ ওয়ার্স অ্যান্ড টুডে উইল লার্ন ইফ ইউ গেট এনি সেন্টেন্স লাইক ইনি অ্যাক্টিভ সেন্টেন্স দ্যাট হ্যাজ মে মাইট ক্যান খুড মাস্ট অট টু গোয়িং টু ইফ ইউ গেট দিস টাইপ অফ ওয়ার্ডস স্পেশালি মোরাল অক্সিলারি অর মোরালস দেন ইন হাউ ওয়ে উই ক্যান উইল চান্স ফ্রম অ্যাক্টিভ টু প্যাস ওকে ইটস ভেরি সিম্পল জাস্ট বিফোর দিস ক্লাস উই হ্যাভ লার্ন দ্যাট ইফ ইউ গেট এনি মোরাল অক্সিলারিজ লাইক ক্যান খুড মে মাইট শ্যাল শুড ওয়েল উড এটসেট্রা উই জাস্ট ইউজ অ্যাক্ট we just use be right well, so have a look here i i i i have a uh, written here here may I help you here may I help you thank you so we have may this is modal verb so as before we have learned that the object of the active voice will be subject so you and here of course this will, this will come may and you know we have to make uh, the verb in past participle form so act and generally we know preposition by will come by here okay so that totally is you may have to buy here so we have to use here be instead of uh, just after the may so i, I just want to erase that one sorry you may be helped by here okay that's all okay the next one is we ought to sometimes we feel confused as we get to ought to okay so if you get that one ought to we will write ought to be ought to be in passive okay so our teachers here our and teachers so the full is actually object of this sentence so here we will write our our teachers ought to be ought to be obeyed by us it's very simple whenever we get that one ought to okay and then to make it passive we just use the object of the uh, active voice here the subject our teachers ought to be obeyed by us don't think about am is or was were okay you need not to think that one as we have this modal verb okay so the next one is must you know must is mandatory whenever we give any emphasis on any work or any task or anything else we use must so here you must have the poor we must have the poor okay so the poor must be helped by you so you must help the poor the active voice will be changed into passive just using the form of the before that is the poor must be helped by you or by us if here we must that we do that all sec thank you and the next one is going to actually uh, very often uh, our uh, learners made mistake using that one as here the verb is going to actually this is modal verb okay so here is going to open a bank account so to make it passive we just write here that a bank account is the object of this sentence that is of this active voice a bank account is the 
object. So that full will come here. A bank account here is going, okay? Is going to be opened by Hina, okay? Okay, this is a long sentence or large sentence. Okay, a bank account is going to be opened by Hina. Okay, okay. Another example we can say, I'm going to buy a book. I'm going to buy a book. Okay, uh, so a book is going to be bought by me. Okay. The next one is the they might support us. They might support us. Just wishing. And here, might is auxiliary model, auxiliary verb. So here, to make it passive, we will write us is here actually in the objective form, you know. Uh, okay, then it will be we. Okay, we might. Then be. We might be supported. Supported they. That means by them that is we might be supported by them and the active was they might support us they might support us so to make it passive we just write we might be supported by them because here might and we use be and that's why the verb is in past participle form hope that you understood so thank you very much we were talking about modal auxiliary verb right Okay, so let's go for our another one that is interrogative sentence. Well, so let's go. So have a look here. The first one is that I want to uh, make uh, some uh, information for you. If you get any modal auxiliary verbs, there we will be. We will use be to make it passive. Well, uh, like shall, should, will, would, can, could, may, might, ought to, must, etc. Here we will just use be, be, -e, be in passive voice and the verb is past participle form and generally by is placed after the verb and then object. But before that one, if you have any query, any problem regarding person in where we should use subjective form, in where we use objective form, you have to know that and we have the classes of persons, right? Okay, so let's go for interrogative sentence and the first one is very simple. Actually, you know, I have already given some changes of tense, uh, like I have uh, talked that if the full tense is in fast, what will happen? So for fast in indefinite or for simple, we just use was or where, right? Okay, for past continuous, We use was or were being. Okay. We have that chart in, in our another class. So you must think uh, about this issue because you have to change. This is the main criteria to change from active to passive. Well, okay. so in some books we have uh, some uh, feature with some uh, with, we have some instruction in how way we can change the interrogative sentence. So have a look. We know very well W H words as well auxiliary verb auxiliary verbs these two things are firstly placed for making any interrogative sentence right okay so have a look for example do you like it do you like it this is present simple tense right do you like it okay so here do is for supporting verb to make it interrogative and here the main verb is like. So you is uh, the uh, second person, you know, well, I, we, you, we have to know the person as well. So in some books, we have some instruction to write them. The first thing is that you have to make it a sort of sentence. So you like it, you like it okay so uh, as it's interrogative sentence we just erase that one to make it simple as our sentence right like, so you like it so to make it passive what we should write okay it 
and as it is present simple we write it is then like is liked by you okay so this is the very form of assertive to uh, interrogative to assertive and here we just change it active to passive so have a look as this is interrogative sentence what should we do we just do that one is will be here and we will write now is it liked by you is it liked by you this is the way to change from active to passive of interrogative sentence so if you like it you just share with your friends relatives as well as others and if you have if you have any claim and any query please write in the inbox thank you very much hope that you understood that one take care bye bye আমাদের এই এক্সিলেন্স ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ লার্নিং হাবে যে মোটো তা হচ্ছে এডুকেশান ইজ নট অপরচুনিটি বাট ইস রাইট সো আপনি খুব সহজেই অফলাইনে ক্লাস করবার জন্য আমাদের সাথে যোগাযোগ করতে পারে এবং আমাদের জন্য এখন যেটি হচ্ছে বিশেষ ডিসকাউন্ট দেওয়া হচ্ছে শিক্ষার্থীদের জন্য সেক্ষেত্রে আমরা আশা করব যে আপনারা এটাকে গ্রাফ করবেন সেই সাথে অনুরোধ করছি নিয়মিত আমাদের যে ক্লাসগুলো হয় বা আমরা যে আপলোডিং করছি যে ক্লাসগুলো এগুলো নিয়মিত পাওয়ার জন্য আপনারা অবশ্যই আমাদের চ্যানেলটি সাবস্ক্রাইব করবেন